The parties that could be propping up the next government have faced off tonight in News Hub Nation's Power Brokers debate. We'll assess their performances in just a moment with longtime politician Peter Dunn. But first, here's some of the highlights. Kate Shepherd once said that all that separates, whether it is <laughs> Just like sex, voting for you. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, she may well be, you know, but she said all that separates, whether it be race, religion, class or sex, is inhuman and must be overcome. And for me, that is a big part of New Zealand's dream of egalitarianism. The fact that David denies the discrimination, the inbuilt systemic racism that has been happening. I too would love an Aotearoa that truly treats everyone the same. It hasn't. Well, and well, what David... No, you had your turn. And what David <laughs> denies and what he wants to strip away is the very agencies who work to highlight where that unfairness and that injustice has actually been. We need to be focused on rights. Next and it's OK, it's, it's you've had your turn, Kati, <laughs> you've had your turn. And it's all right if we've had, you know, you're not comfortable in your skin for your waka papa, but many of us have been proud and are proud to be that. And we'll fight for the Tiriti-centric Aotearoa hope. The solutions we hear is that somewhere someone has done too well and if we whack them and take their money, that's going to solve the problem. No, we're I'm just sorry, talking about redistribution. Distributing we wealth, we're not doing it, taking them out. There are adults in the room. Can I just say that? <laughs> 38 billion dollars in cuts would be a massive depression in this country. And the second thing is, these people are on about envy politics. They're oh, talking about rubbish. This, oh, rubbish. They're talking about you the, you've had your say. Rubbish. You're on the marae now, behave yourself. Oh, no, I'm away oh. in the on a marae. So could you work with Winston? Look, I think actually the question will. is, can anyone, you know, nobody's been able to. <laughs> it's not credible for the guy who's had more chances to fix New Zealand's problems than anyone oh. else alive. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. He just Here we said, go again. Rebecca, said, Rebecca, I'm sorry. When you right. It's, like, I, I an, it's, now, you Rebecca, it's yeah. like an arsonist now, showing up dressed no as a fireman saying, I'm here to help and fix it all for you. <laughs> it's just not credible. You know I mean, There's this something. is the guy... Go and ask, go and and ask Jim Bolger or go and ask Helen Clark whether I can be trusted. He's saying he, you're an arsonist. I, 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 I don't think... I'm not him. There we go. We can be trusted. He must be desperate. This guy's had enough chances already. It's not clear why he thinks he's another one, but it seems he's doing it all for for his own purposes Come rather on, than oh, New Zealand. Unbelievable. Look, I've had more court cases at my cost than all these guys got to put together. <laughs> and he's saying I'm doing it for my own purpose. Jesus. Do people actually trust that Lutzen is going to be able to manage these two? Like, for real. And whereas, like, we, we've been not, we can be friends, eh? Yeah. Well, joining us now is Peter Dunn, former leader of United Future and political commentator. Thanks for coming on, Peter. Thank you. Whose performance stood evening. out to you most tonight in all of that? Well, well I, unfortunately, I think it wasn't a debate, despite the best efforts of the moderator. They all talked past each other. But the one person who struck me as, as having a bit of focus and clarity about her message was Debbie Narua Packer. I thought that what she said, whether you agree with it or not, is, is irrelevant. But I thought she stuck to her guns. She got her message out there and ha had a bit of cut through. Good. Well, I want to talk to you about Winston Peters and David Seymour now. I think that was pretty interesting. They did not rule out working with each other, but they did not seem keen on it, on the other hand. That body language no. was unmistakable. Do you think that they will really... support National together? If the crunch comes to it and the alternative is uh, some other governing arrangement, they'll have to work something out. But Peters has got to get back into Parliament first. I think we're all assuming he will, and on the current polls he might, but it's not definite. So I think the tension between he and Seymour was palpable. They couldn't say no, they couldn't work together. On the other hand, uh, their sort of body language gave it all away. It's the last thing either of them want. Yeah, absolutely. I took that away too. It was quite a contrast with Marama Davidson and Debbie Nariwa Packer. They formed a clear alliance in the debate uh, with their disdain for everything that Winston Peters was mm. saying, basically. Did that stop them from differentiating themselves from each other? It became a bit of a problem for them in that respect, I think, because I think what they were setting out to do was make it clear that on the one hand, you had the two of them who could work well together and presumably work well with Labour. On the other hand... And the way they were um, situated would just sort of help this. To their left and right were Peters and Seymour, who clearly couldn't work together. So the, the problem was, though, that the more they tried to demonstrate that they could work together, the more their messages became a little blurred. Peter Dunn, that's all we need. Thanks so much for your insight this evening.